What's going on guys? It is Carly here bringing you another video and today I thought I would do uh, something a little different and just go through and show you guys my um, horror shirt collection because uh, I've uh, accumulated quite a bit I feel like um, over the past year or so and I thought it'd just be cool to go through and show what I have. Um, you know, you guys have definitely seen them before in updates and just me wearing them on camera, but I just thought I would go through and show some of them, uh, or all of them rather. Um, I don't have, you know, a million shirts or anything like that, anything too crazy, but I do have quite a bit here, more than I uh, had thought. I just kind of went through them and I was like, I should make a video because that would be cool. Um, it's pretty uh, shitty outside today. Um, it's definitely starting to get to that winter weather. It's been snowing and raining, so I figured uh, I wasn't really going anywhere today and it would be the perfect time to just uh, chill out and make kind of a laid back video such as this. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get right on into this. And uh, you know, these aren't really an order or anything of when I got them because I don't really even remember the exact order. But um, first up we have uh, one that I actually just showed in a recent update, my last update, and that is this um, It shirt, this obviously this Pennywise shirt here, um, and this is long sleeves as you can see, um, and I really like this one, you know, it's got, uh, what's it say, time to float on it, uh, if I can show it to the camera here, um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I like having this because I don't really own a lot of long sleeve shirts, and with winter time, I kind of need that, so uh, it's good to have some nice horror shirts that are long sleeve. I usually end up just wearing like black undershirts with them anyway, but it's nice to actually have one that is long sleeve, so uh, that's cool. Uh, I really do like the new um, It movie, so um, very fitting. That's one that JP got me, and I believe he got it at Walmart. Then next up we have another one I just showed in the recent update, but I will show it again, and that is this uh, Freddy Krueger one. Once again, it is a uh, long sleeve, as you can see. Uh, I like the, um, you know, black sleeves that you have here uh, with the green. I just like this um, color scheme in general. I don't really have a lot of clothes with uh, that are green. Uh, that's not something I usually run to, but I think it's pretty cool and uh, fitting for um, Freddy. It's a good just uh, sort of back color to throw in on a shirt as I grab my hair there. Um, but uh, yeah, I like this. I mentioned before, Nightmare on Elm Street's not my favorite franchise, but I do, I, I like the character Freddy Krueger. I think he's cool and I uh, think he looks cool in a shirt. So I'm uh, happy to have this one as well. Then after that, we have this one that I actually just picked up last weekend. Uh, I believe this was at Hot Topic um, at this mall that I usually don't go to, but they actually had a pretty decent Hot Topic. They had a lot of different shirts there, and um, it is this Scream one, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, Scream is one of my favorite horror movies. You know, it's um, becoming, you know, one of the classics, of course, and uh, it's one that I grew up watching, and I've always really liked this cover. Of course, it usually has the uh, floating heads cast in front of it, but here you just get the uh, classic uh, Scream uh, face cover, whatever you want to call that, and uh, yeah, this is honestly probably one of my favorite shirts now. I wore it actually the other day, and I uh, thought it looked pretty dope when you have it on, and I just like this uh, black and sort of white grayish thing you have here. I, I just enjoy that color scheme of clothes. I have a lot of gray and black and just white uh, neutral color clothing in my uh, just wardrobe in general, so I, I really dig this one. Then after that we have this one, which is probably one of the oldest ones I have, and by oldest I mean just a few years ago because that's kind of when I started picking up horror-related t-shirts and whatnot, but that is this Halloween 2 shirt, and uh, this is another one JP actually got for me, and um, this one is pretty dope. Uh, Halloween 2, I think that's uh, one of the best ones, of course, in the franchise, and uh, I just really think this is cool. It's, of course, uh, Michael Myers here in front of the uh, hospital, and um, it just says Halloween 2, and then it has like the, um, you know, it just looks like poster art. It's got the uh, whole cast and crew at the bottom there, their names, like as if it would be on the cover of a poster or the, obviously, the cover of the movie. So um, I really like this one. I haven't worn this one in a while, actually. It was kind of lost in the back of my drawer, but, uh, you know, I'll probably start wearing it again. Once I get new shirts, I end up kind of, everything else gets kind of thrown 
in the back of the drawer because I just keep rewashing the same shirts and then, you know, they end up in the front of the drawer so I just keep re-wearing the same exact stuff. But I should be wearing that one a lot more because I do, that's one of my favorites. Then after that we have uh, this uh, unique one. I actually got this at the drive-in that I went to uh, this past summer and um, it wasn't the drive-in that JP and I usually go to. It was actually one that was five hours away. It was actually really close to New Jersey, New York, that area. So uh, super far on the other side of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia territory. But uh, we had a lot of fun there and plan on going back eventually. And that is uh, this Camp Blood, what is it, five shirt. And uh, it's basically just the shirt that they made. And they, you know, just made sort of a poster art of all the movies that they were playing there, which was... Um, Cutting Class, Friday the 13th Part 3, um, Jason Goes to Hell, Prom Nights, um, Motel Hell, and um, Popcorn, and they were supposed to play The Stepfather as well, which is on here, but they actually got the wrong Stepfather movie. They got the remake sent to them by accident, which was pretty funny, but uh, that is featured on here as well, even though we didn't get to watch it, but uh, yeah, I just think this is super cool. If you look closely, it's kind of lame because it does have like Brad Pitt is the main thing on there but it's got like the eyes there from prom night and then it's got I believe it has what Jason on there twice for Jason Goes to Hell and uh Friday 3 so I uh, thought this was pretty cool I just had to buy it as a souvenir and it's actually a nice shirt you know it's not cheaply made I like the feel of it it's very soft and uh you know sometimes shirts are just like cheaply thrown together but this one was pretty nice so I like this and if we end up going back and they have more shirts I'll definitely be collecting them because they are they turn out to be pretty cool horror shirts with just a mashup of different movies then after that we have another Halloween shirt here and uh oh wrong way um I believe I got this at Hot Topic as well it's either Hot Topic or Spencer's that's the main places I get my shirts this one actually might have been from Spencer's but um says Halloween safety and uh, a sitter's guide at the bottom here. Um, I know a lot of people own this shirt and uh, it's from, I don't know, there's like a lot of shirts that are made like this. It's like a special company. They also have those ones that are like sacrificing kids to Satan and things like that if you have any idea what I mean. Just like very cool like cult looking shirts but they all have the same sort of style and uh font to them and uh, I really like them there's like a Bloody Mary one as well but I don't own any other ones besides this one because you know I kind of collect the shirts mainly for horror movies but uh I really just dug this design I believe this was actually the first one that I did end up buying for myself when I thought you know what I need to start coloring some uh coloring collecting some horror shirts because I don't own any so um really like this one of course Halloween's one of my favorite movies so I just have to pick up every freaking shirt that they have for Halloween. It seems like Michael Myers always, that those are the shirts I see that are the coolest looking. Um, I don't want to have just a full blown Halloween shirt collection, but there's always so many cool art designs on those shirts. But yeah, so there is that one. That's another one I haven't worn in quite a while now. Then after that, I figured I would throw this one into the mix as well. And it is my, of course, 22 Shots of Moods and Horror shirt that I got whenever they made uh, these shirts for their podcast. For anyone who might watch my channel and doesn't know, uh, 22 Shots of Moods and Horror is a horror podcast that my friend JP is a part of. And they did do these shirts for their podcast. And uh, obviously, super dope design. It's kind of, uh, you know, reminiscent to the Maniac poster. And awesome shirt. I, you know, kind of mistakenly got, it's actually a size medium, but uh, it's definitely too big on me, but I don't care. I still wear it anyway. I, I have a lot of shirts that are way too big on me because I'm one of those people. I never know if I'm medium, small, or large. Uh, it just really depends on the company making the shirt, but this one's a little large. Um, I don't care. Like I said, I still wear it everywhere and uh, super, super awesome design on it. Then after that, we have another one that JP had gotten me uh, for Christmas this past Christmas, and that is this um, Chucky shirt. Showed this in my last update as well. It's another one that you could find at Walmart. Uh, you know, Walmart has like those um, 
select like graphic tees. I believe they're always in the men's section, but um, sometimes you can find some cool shirts at Walmart. Uh, they do put out neat horror shirts, I will say. Um, I had mentioned before, it's like they're always the mainstream ones, like of course Pennywise from the new movie, and even Pennywise from the old movie, and then just the main killers like Chucky, Freddy, Michael, and Jason, but, um, you know, I give props to Walmart for actually putting out decent shirts like this sometimes. I always do check out that men's section, like, of graphic tees, because they do occasionally have some new stuff, so, um, pretty dope. Uh, I didn't have a Child's Play shirt, or Chucky shirt, rather, and, um, that's another one of my favorite franchises, so, yeah, um, pretty awesome there. Then after that, uh, this is another awesome one that I just bought at the mall this weekend, and that is the Shining shirt, Shining Twins, Shining Sisters, whatever you want to call it. I know some people get up in arms about that, but um, yeah, what can I say? Shining, one of my favorite horror movies, and or it is my favorite horror movie, rather, of all time. As you can see, I do have this curtain back here. I forgot that I even had that behind me, but um, yeah, so one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and um, I even have a tattoo of the tw uh, twins on my leg, and uh, I saw this shirt actually at Hot Topic a few weeks ago around Christmas time, and I wanted to get it so bad, but I think it was one of those things where I did not have my size. Um, I did get a size small, which fits perfectly. It was either an extra small or an extra large that they had, and that's all they had left. And this time when I went to Hot Topic, this, again, this was the only one they had left of the shirts, and uh, had to grab it. I just think it's awesome, and once again, it's got like that sort of just black and white style to that to it that I really enjoy, so um, pretty cool there as well. Then after that, we have um, a shirt that I picked up at a convention, um, the Living Dead Weekend Convention, which happens in Monroeville Mall every summer, and uh, that was a pretty fun time, and there was a guy selling these shirts. Uh, I think he, you know, does the art design and then printed them on the shirts, and I uh, thought they were all super cool. They had um, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre one, too, that I wanted to grab, but I just didn't, I kind of ran out of money, but it is this... Um, Jason shirt, obviously, from um, part seven. Jason you have here, and he's in the woods with his bloody machete, and uh, just thought it was super cool. Uh, that's kind of my favorite look of Jason, honestly, is from part seven, although that's not my favorite Friday the 13th movie. I just think he looks uh, super awesome in that film, and uh, I just think this art is really, really cool, and I love the color scheme, the purples and blues. It's one of my other, those are two of my favorite colors, so... Uh, uh, really enjoy that color scheme. If I ever see that guy again selling shirts, I'll definitely pick up more of them because I believe they had like TCM. Uh, J uh, JP had gotten a basket case one, which was uh, rather unique and, um, you know, just all kinds of the, all kinds of shirts that you could think of. But uh, yeah, I would like to get some more from him if I ever see him selling them again and at any conventions around here. Then after that, we actually have another uh, Friday the 13th-esque shirt, and that is uh, this one here. I probably got this at Hot Topic as well. That's Hot Topic and Spencer's. Those are like the main go-to places to really buy these shirts, uh, as well as FYE. FYE has them quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, the FYEs around me are pretty much all out of business. Um, I think there's only like one left in one of the malls and that, you know, it's not the closest mall, so I don't really go there anymore. But um, I, I wanna say I got this a hot topic anyway, but anyway, a little bit wrinkled, but uh, I just thought it was awesome. It's a mask and then it has, you know, you could see like there's a cabin in the woods uh, on the mask. And uh, once again, I really enjoyed the color, the gray color. Uh, most of my shirt, actually I think, yeah, all the shirts I have here besides two have been black, and so I thought this was a cool color and had to grab it. Uh, Friday the 13th, another one of my favorite franchises, and um, yeah, just thought this was a pretty cool design. Then, guys, we're getting down to the last two here, but we have this one that I I've, think I've worn this in probably the most of my videos, and that is just the... Uh, Classic Jaws shirt. This was another one that was found at Walmart um, in the that T section that I mentioned. So I uh, always look for them there. Um, there's actually been a few different Jaws shirts at Walmart. That's obviously um, classic movie one that you always kind of see merchandise with. I I also own a cup that I got from Walmart uh, with the same 
poster art, uh, you know, that's just a uh, very, very classic poster art. Everyone knows that poster art. And everyone seems to like Jaws. Um, some people don't consider it a horror movie, really. I always have, uh, you know, for some it's just like an adventure type of uh, thriller film, but, uh, you know, most people have seen Jaws, even if you're not really a horror fan, but I really like this shirt. I like the look of it, and uh, it's one that I enjoy re-wearing. I, I just, I like how it looks on me. It's, it looks super cool, so, and uh, you can't go wrong with that poster art, honestly, so, um, Jaws. Jaws is one of those movies that's uh, slowly become one of my favorites um, over the years. I've seen it in theaters three times at this point, so, yeah, that is that, and then after that we have just one more here, and that is um, this, once again, another Michael Myers Halloween-inspired shirt. Now, this one says, um, says, every day is Halloween. You can't really see it. Uh, the coloring of the words is very, very light on it, but, um, and this one's super wrinkled, too, because it's been in my drawer for a little while now. I haven't worn this one in um, a bit, but... You know, usually I don't like these types of shirts. Uh, that's one thing Hot Topic and Spencer's and all those uh, popular uh, pop culture -y stores like to do is uh, make sort of memes out of shirts or just um, put sort of um, lame fonts and just sayings on them that's just stupid and has nothing to do with the movie. Like I saw one the other day that said it was Freddy Krueger and it was pretty cute but it said like stay woke on it and that was just super cringy to me but um, to me this one was fitting. Uh, it's obviously a more cutesy uh, take on Michael Myers, uh, just like a cartoony version of him but I liked it because it said every day is Halloween. That's something that um, you know, I kind of live by. I watch horror movies pretty much every day, and uh, Halloween's my favorite time of the year, so uh, I actually like that saying. I didn't think it was too stupid, and I actually think this shirt's pretty cute, and I like that he's holding a jack-o'-lantern, so, um, you know, win-win there. So, um, yeah, guys, that is all the shirts that I own. I believe I counted, and uh, that's 13 horror-related shirts that I have, which is... Uh, Pretty cool because, like I said, I only started collecting them probably a year ago, actually. I said a few years ago earlier, but I think it was just last year that I really thought, like, hey, I need some more horror shirts, or I need to get some horror shirts in my collection because I don't own any. And, um, yeah, I definitely recommend going to uh, FYE, Hot Topic, Spencer's, and even sometimes Walmart for your shirts. Um, of course, going there, you're not going to get the most unique stuff. Like, you're going to probably see other people out and about wearing the same shirt as you because everyone shops at those stores obviously but um sometimes they have some cool stuff and uh that's where I get the majority of my stuff I'm not big on ordering things online because you never know how it's gonna fit and it's usually you know sometimes expensive but um uh you know that's kind of those are just the stores I like to go to a lot of times they do deals too where you can buy two get one free and I enjoy that so yeah, guys, that is my current um, horror shirt collection. Uh, horror is like a hard word to say for some reason, but um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll definitely up make an updated video, uh, let's say sometime maybe next year or so, because I know I'll probably go crazy and end up getting even more shirts. Uh, whether I buy them or get them from people, I know that my collection will get out of control like my regular movie collection is. So. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and as always, I will talk to you in the next one.